uh, this cycle of poverty, man, is real. I don't want to, you know, downplay it. It's real. I was having a conversation with a gentleman who's involved with the Office of Transition and Learning with a public school system, and he told me that, like, 90-some percent, high 90 percent of the kids graduating or transitioning out of public schools wind up in custodial jobs, landscaping, dishwashing, laundry, the lowest skilled possible. And as a result, they're stuck in a cycle of poverty. There are things we can do to do better. We can use technology in the classrooms and we can help teachers with technology to use in the classrooms and improve the outcomes. These kids are able to perform things with technology that are um, commensurate with non-disabled children. If their brain works, and even if the brain doesn't work the same, we still can adjust for that. There's just so many ways now to do better when it comes to integrating the use of virtual assistants, AI chatbots, natural language processing, and basic data analysis, data ingestion, and um, the power of sort of neural networking that we can do better in terms of outcomes with individual kids and break the cycle of poverty. Let them get a job making sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year without having to go to college because they know how to function in a technological society at a high level. And regardless of that autism, they can handle that phone. So we can do better. We have to do better. Let's, let's work together to do better.